Hello guys, Dennis here, and uh, no. Hello friends, Dennis here, and today we are back on the den. Yeah, it's uh, to me it's uh, Friday. Yeah, it's Friday now. Slept, had some dinner, breakfast. <laughs> I've, I've turned my day-night cycle all the way around, so now I'm a, I'm a proper owl now. I'm, a, I'm I woke up a couple of hours ago, and it's 10 p.m. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. That wasn't supposed to happen. But, oh, move. I've been doing a little bit of work the last hour or so. Uh, j just a little bit. We have um, extended this a little bit. We have gotten some carrots. We have gotten some potatoes. Not because I want to eat them, but because I I'm gonna try to work on something very soon. Um, I have gotten a few more chickens. We have a bit bigger sugarcane farm than what we had originally set up down here. Uh, we have gotten some food going. We are steady with the food. That's awesome. And uh, I've also been AFK fishing all night. I've died one time. I have already died. And that's not cool. Uh, it was a creeper that exploded me. <laughs> but uh, we have gotten... A oh, let me get that and throw it in here. Um, uh, we have gotten a few good stuffs. Uh, we have gotten a few saddles. We have gotten a few uh, enchantment books, a few water bottles, which I'm gonna keep because potions are gonna be a thing at some point. Um, we also got this, which is great. A um, lot of good stuffs. Uh, except for I don't think I'm gonna eat the fish. So I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> but that's okay. It's it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I have also started to work on some kelp. I'm, I'm gonna get some dried kelp to melt instead of using coal. Because it's more efficient. It's easier. And meaning that I can use my coal for torches and these guys. That's also a thing I want to take a little bit of a look at, because I um, I started to trade a little bit with one of the toolsmiths. Unfortunately, there is no librarians in this village. That's, that's sad, but it's okay, because uh, at some point... We're, oh, you're a white coat. Uh, there we go. Are you the guy I traded with? Yeah. He has a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 1, uh, making him pretty expensive if we want efficiency 5. Um, but there are other guys here. I haven't opened them up, but they might might have something better. Might. But I, I, I don't want to be quoted on it. <laughs> uh, so that is one thing I want to kind of check out uh, to see if maybe we can get some um, good stuffs going. But before we do that, I would like to continue to build. And what I would like to build, uh, the, the frame that we built last time, that's, that's going to go away. That's going to go very fast away. And I have one more thing, one more thing that I want to just quickly get into. And that is, um, I would like to just show you something else that I got. So let's see. There we go. Mending and protection, mm, unbreaking, protection, mending, efficiency. We're going to throw this one onto the pickaxe, meaning that we need an animal. We can't just do th this without having an animal, you know? Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And... Arigato. So now we have an unbreaking, mending, efficiency pickaxe. That's so awesome. Um, and the reason I were able to do that was because that those were already on it. <laughs> uh, if, if, 
if there hadn't been efficiency on that book, I would not have I would not have efficiency. Like I could have gone here, I think somewhere here. Um Yeah, this one has efficiency four. I'm not gonna use it because it's from the AFK fishing farm, right? Um I'm gonna keep them. Because at some point I'm probably gonna be like, okay, I can use them if I already have a good tool and I lose it uh, due to a bug or a, a major derp. That's the only time I'm gonna be able to use them. And I did have 56 levels, but then the creeper blew me up and because of the rule of no uh, no armor. Two more episodes after this. Um, I died. <laughs> but I, I think I've done quite fairly here. Like, I've died one time. And we don't really have any protection. So I, I think that's pretty good. Oh, I have almost forgot. Uh, we are going to work on this thing. Um, because I would like to get... A little bit of a trading stuff going here. I would like to have it here. Uh, so what I'm thinking, uh, what I've been kind of uh, playing a little bit with is some sort of a stadium. Right? So the whole thing, the whole area here would be one building. Um, but that's just a thought I have right now. I don't have enough... I don't have enough cobblestone to build the whole thing, but we can at least try to outline it, sort of. Um, so if we go like, I, I don't, ha I don't have any measurements or anything like that. I I'm just gonna go for it, right? Uh, so if we go something like this to begin with, and then maybe go like two, and then maybe one. One, one, let's go four times. I think that would be good. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go like that. Actually, we need to move this a little bit. But yeah, I, I want this to be big. I want this building to be like one or this area the first area to spawn area to be a building instead of it being a town like I usually do it uh, let's see that's two let's go three let's go one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight I, I don't have any numbers. I, I'm just... I'm just going about it, you know? Um, so I think that could be good enough. And then we could start taking it this way. And then I want to mirror what I've done over here. So it's gonna be... First off here. One, two, three, four... One? No. One, two, three, four, five. That's cool. That's good. That's a good number. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Then I think it's three. One, two, three. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna keep on working with this uh, for a little bit and uh, we will be back in just a second. Otherwise we're just gonna be placing lines this whole episode. That's not fun. But we'll be right back. We are back and we have finished off a circle. <laughs> we have uh, made a circle around here. Let's uh, just uh, get a little bit taller. I think those are my last cobblestones. But we have circled around the whole thing. Uh, it's not a perfect circle because I didn't I didn't follow any me measurements. I just kind of freehand did 
So that's great. We got that circle going. Um, and then I would like to secure the circle as well. Not meaning that we're um, building the whole... Excuse me. The whole wall this episode. Because I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, because I don't have the resources. I don't have... Um, I don't have the materials I want to use either. Um, the materials that, I, that I'm kind of considering to use is a mixture, mixture of uh, white concrete, cyan concrete, uh, glowstone. Um, maybe because of my resource pack, we can use smooth diorite as well. That'll be easier to get. I were kind of considering to use what? Oh, okay. I were considering to use uh, nether quartz, but we haven't really been to the nether either. Uh, we could... We could go this episode, to be fair. But yeah, I, I think that this is gonna be a good starting point, you know? A good base to start off. Um, which is basically what I want for the first area. It's pretty much just going to be a base. I don't think that's a bad idea. I think it's a pretty good idea to have a base to start off. Uh, this area is going to be the home of many of the farms we're gonna have in this world. Because it's the spawn trucks, you know. Uh, so we're gonna have a iron farm, we're going to have... Um, or are we going to have a... We're gonna have a very small iron farm, I think. I'm not 100% certain, um, but uh, we're, we're going to have a few things here, and uh, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, so yeah, I, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys in on that. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and get me some uh, repairs for this uh, pickaxe. We need, we need to repair it. It's... I don't. I don't want to lose it. I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna be greedy about my pickaxe, because <laughs> um, I want this to be the pickaxe we kind of use this whole world, um, and also about the den. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be my forever world. Um, I learned my lesson. I'm not gonna bring it into the snapshots, no matter how impatient I am for the next version of Minecraft. I, I'm not gonna do that again. Lesson learned. Let's see, we're just gonna go ahead and chop down these trees. And uh, then I actually need to mine because I think yeah, we are basically out of... We're out of cobblestone, basically. Not 100%, but basically. And I also need to get some cows, because I want some milk, and I want um, leather for different kind of stuffs. So, we, we need to do a little bit of work. Anyway. But, um, yeah, I think... I'm just gonna go ahead and do some mining. You, you don't wanna hang around with the mining, do you? I, I highly doubt it. I will be back in just a second. Okay, we are back. My clock were ticking when I finished the last clip. Um, I have walled up, and it should be... The theoretically, it should be pretty safe to be here. Now, I've also set up this little thing right here. A mini... Oh, or not a mini, but a semi-automatic super farm. No, smeltery. I'm sorry. I almost said the wrong word. But, uh, I think that's a good beginning, um, because I don't have the iron to actually make a super uh, smelter, so, uh, we're gonna live with that one for now. Uh, this, this is basically what we're gonna be living with. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and fetch all of those. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and that. Okay, good. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw all of these into there respective furnaces. Giving us a little bit of iron as well. Good. Uh, what I would like to do now is set up 
a little bit of something for villagers. So we need to make ourselves a shovel. We're gonna go ahead and grab this one. I think I'm gonna be a little bit of a bad boy. Just this once to make this a bit easier for us, a bit faster for us. Uh, this one, do we have? We have looting. Oh, nice. Efficiency four. Okay. And we're gonna want an unbreaking book as well. And that's fine. Just to make it a bit faster and easier for us to do what I want to do. Uh, which is basically to dig up a little bit and uh, get some good stuffs going a bit faster. Um, diamond shovel? Sure. There we go. Thank you, I'm sorry, but uh, I, I want to do it properly. or I w Not properly, I want to do it fast. I want to be fast boy. I don't have a... Yeah, I don't have a good shovel. At the end of this episode, we're going to start off with a new rule, which is supposed to be implemented in episode 3. Uh, and that is the rule of nighttime. We're going to have constant night nighttime. And... Um, Uh, until episode 8, so it's gonna be constant nighttime, which is why I wanted to get, <coughs> get this area nice and lit. So, I, I were meaning to start it immediately on episode 3, but I kind of forgot about it as I started to record. <laughs> then I remembered like 10 minutes ago, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna activate the rule uh, later in the episode, like, when we're finishing off. But, basically what we're gonna do here is we are going to have the villager area. Uh, so I think we need a... Axe? I think we actually need a new one. That's not too bad. Can just do that. There we go. New axe. Oh, come on. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're also gonna go ahead and do that because I need to get rid of the wood down here. The wood need to go. I were kind of wanting to leave all of these around so that I could kind of see how many trees I had taken down before I were going into re uh, replant. But, um, I have already removed quite a few, so why not just go ahead and remove these as well. Uh, there we go, and then we need to make it so that the villagers can't get out, but we can get in. And I also need to kind of fill in around here so that no mobs are going to be able to reach them. That would be, that would be really bad if they did. I've been using so much cobblestone by now. It, it feels like I've been using so much, but we're going to be using a whole lot more. Uh, you know what? I think... Yeah, we're just gonna go with the cobblestone. I mean, on the inside, it's gonna be a... No, we're gonna use wood so we can see the difference where we need to take things away. I think that would be e um, maybe not easier, but smarter to do. Uh, so if we go with these guys and we take a couple more of these four more there we go that should be a that should be good enough because we don't want to we want to make sure that the villagers aren't going to be lost or dead you know um so let's see if we go in i can't reach it that's fine We're, we'll just do it like this so i'm gonna have to fill in all of these so that they can't reach the villagers through the walls because that would have been bad news um, so after we have done that we're going to build the nether portal and um, try to get some of them through I'm almost dead that's not good there we go 
just gonna go ahead and do like so. Eat. Not dying. We don't want to die. Um. And we're out of wood. That's perfect. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to keep them in or keep them from dying. What we could could have done instead. Okay, if we take all of these down, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of work with the current tool set we have. Uh, but um, so I'm going to take that down. But if we make them a room instead, because um, it's basically non-spawnable areas here now, because I've been lighting up except for right here. I need I need to light that up again. Um, but it, 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 we should have an unspawnable area, meaning that the that there won't be any zombies to attack him or anything like that. So that's great. Um, that's basically the most important part, you know. But I still need to lower this a little bit more, uh, which is not an issue to be honest. It's rather easy, but um, I need to make something where they can breed and have some good stuff going for them. Uh, maybe it would have been easier if I made something underground. It probably would have, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna keep them in caves. Uh, what we can do though, because I'm gonna have my ne nether portal down here anyway. So what we can do is just make sure that we can make the nether portal. Make some room for a nether portal. I think that would be the best. At least before we really get into it. Um, I'm just gonna try to move them. Um, hopefully we won't lose them. There we go. This this should be good enough for us to be able to have a nether portal. Good enough spot. Good enough room. Uh, so I think we're just gonna go there. You know, we're starting to run out of time as well. I think. I think I went three minutes extra on the timer before I noticed it was still going. Um, but uh, we're at least going to get the nether portal going and then we're gonna turn day and night cycle on and off. So we need to go a little bit more so the night time comes. Let's see, where did we put... There we go, there's the obsidian. So if we go ahead and just throw it up down here, I forgot something to light it up with. Oh, well. One, two, three. One, two... One, two, three. And we have ourselves another portal. It's not lit. We will fix that in just a second. It feels so weird not being able to use armor. Like, I'm not really digging for any more diamonds because I don't need an armor. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have some more torches. Good. Um, we need one flint and we need one iron ingot. And that'll give us this guy. Perfect. And then, because we have these guys waiting for us, we need to get them, you know. There we go. That's better. Okay, so it's starting to become nighttime as well. That's perfect, because that means that we can finish off in just a second uh, and light up some more here. Because we're, we're going to have to light up again. See? We... we it's easy to light up again. It, it's not the worst thing in the world. And then we're going to go here. Just making sure it's lit enough. So we're not going to get any mob spawning on us. That would be bad. Okay. So I'm guessing it's basically nighttime. I want it to be a little bit of red. Game rule 
do daylight cycle false. That's a beautiful shade. We got the moon up, and here we got... Okay, so this is how it's going to be for the next few episodes. This is where we're going to be standing. Okay, cool. Uh, with that, I do believe we are out of time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay. Bye-bye.